वेलकम टू सेनारियो नंबर एट गाइज क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे इज दिस एंड दिस इज माई सेनारियो सी टूडे इज क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी लॉजिकल एंड वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल एज वेल यू कैन सी द सेनारियो इन माई सेनारियो देर इज वन स्विच कनेक्टेड विथ टू पी सी इन डिफरेंट वी लैंड बट बोथ हैव आई पी फ्रॉम द सेम सब नेट एज यू कैन सी पी सी वन हैव आई पी टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर एंड पी सी टू हैव आई पी वन टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर पी सी वन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वीलैंड टेन पी सी टू इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वीलैंड ट्वेंटी एंड आफ्टर दैट आई हैव कनेक्टेड वन डायरेक्ट इथरनेट केबल बिटवीन पोर्ट टू एंड पोर्ट थ्री मीन्स वन इथरनेट केबल वन एंड ऑफ इथरनेट केबल इज कनेक्टेड ऑन दिस पोर्ट ऑन जीरो स्लैश टू पोर्ट एंड वन पोर्ट इज कनेक्टेड ऑन जीरो स्लैश थ्री पोर्ट वन एंड ऑफ इथरनेट केबल इज कनेक्टेड ऑन दिस पोर्ट जीरो स्लैश थ्री पोर्ट एंड आई हैव पुट इट जीरो स्लैश टू इन वी लैंड टेन एंड जीरो स्लैश थ्री इन वी लैंड ट्वेंटी ओके जीरो स्लैश जीरो इज कनेक्टेड विथ पी सी वन जीरो स्लैश जीरो इज कनेक्टेड पी सी वन जीरो स्लैश वन इज कनेक्टेड विथ पी सी टू जीरो स्लैश टू इज कनेक्टेड विथ अनोदर पोर्ट डायरेक्ट थ्रू इथर नेट केबल एंड पार्ट ऑफ वीलैंड टेन एंड जीरो स्लैश थ्री इज पार्ट ऑफ वीलैंड ट्वेंटी एंड नाउ क्वेश्चन इज कैन पी सी वन पिन टू पी सी टू नाउ मैनी ऑफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट बोथ बिलोंग्स टू सेम सब नेट सो हाउ लाइक बोथ बिलोंग्स टू डिफरेंट वी लैंड सो हाउ दे कैन कम्युनिकेट वी नीड राउटिंग हियर सो गैस वी डोंट नीड राउटिंग हियर वाई वी डोंट नीड राउटिंग बिकॉज बोथ बिलोंग्स टू सेम सब नेट both have ip from the same subnet right so like if i am going to ping pc2 from pc1 ping and 10.1.1.2 what will happen pc1 is going to find the network id of destination ip and then it will get to know the network id is same right their own network id is also 10.1.1.0 and the destination network id is also 10.1.1.0 that means destination belongs to same network pc will directly generate r for the destination device not for the gateway here routing is not required this is layer 2 switch layer 2 switch and if you are thinking that answer is no then you are wrong answer of this question is yes guys and this question is very conceptual these two pc can communicate even you can try but you cannot try it in packet tracer because here we need real devices because one ethernet cable we need to connect two ports directly right this is also not the real time scenario this this is a question just to take you check your vlan knowledge right you have the knowledge of vlan or not If I will configure this link as trunk, then also interviewer can ask you will ping work or not. So if I will configure this link as a trunk link, then communication will not happen. Then ping will not work, right? But now in this scenario, see how communication can happen here. Let's say MAC address of PC one is A and MAC address of PC B is B, right? So when I will ping to 10.2, this machine need MAC address of destination device. It will check ARP table. Maybe a MAC address is available or maybe MAC address is not available. If MAC address is not available, then it will generate ARP request message. ARP request message. In ARP request message, target IP address is going to be 10.2. Target IP will be 10.2. Source MAC will be A and destination MAC will be all app broadcast it will pc will forward it to switch switch will receive it on which interface switch will receive it on 0/0, -0, -0 interface on this interface which is part of which vlan which is part of vlan 10 so now you tell me will switch forward it from this interface or not answer is yes because this interface is also part of vlan 10 only so switch is going to receive broadcast frame on this interface and it will forward it from this interface but same switch is receiving our request message on another port which is member of vlan 20 now when switch will receive traffic over here it will think this is a traffic of vlan 10 because they are receiving interface is member of vlan 10 so it will forward from this interface because this interface is also member of vlan 10 and same switch is receiving now broadcast message on this interface which is member of vlan 
which is member of VLAN 20. So what switch will do now? Now switch is receiving a broadcast message on an interface which is part of VLAN 20. So switch will forward it from this interface because this interface is part of VLAN 20. So it will receive over here, then it will forward from here. When PC2 will receive this ARP request message, it will check destination MAC, all app. It will check target IP address. Target IP address will match. This PC will generate ARP reply message. In ARP reply message, source MAC will be B, destination MAC will be A. It will forward to switch, right? And guys, when switch is going to receive ARP request message from PC1, it is going to make entry in their MAC address table also, like on my app 0 slash 0 interface, a device is connected whose MAC address is A. Means logically switch will learn MAC address of PC1 on this interface, then it will check destination. On the basis of destination, it will forward traffic from this interface, which is part of same VLAN, VLAN 20. When switch 3 will receive traffic on ARP request message on 0 slash 3, again it will learn same MAC address on app 0 slash sorry 0 slash 3 0 slash 3 port mac address a now question is can switch learn same mac address on two port no it will overlap right it is going to learn now mac address a on this port switch can learn more than one mac address on single port but switch cannot learn same mac address on multiple port right so switch is going to remove this one after that switch will check destination broadcast it will it is it's receiving interfaces member of vlan 20 so it will forward from there correct now a mac address is on 0 slash 3 interface right it will you can say flap the mac address that that is mac flapping when pc will generate ARP reply message again it will receive over here it is going to learn mac address first on f 0 slash 1 interface mac address is b then switch will check destination destination mac is a switch is going to check their MAC address table. Now, see, there are some concepts here. Switch, whenever we have multiple VLAN, so switch is creating multiple MAC address table. So there will be two MAC address table, one for VLAN 10, one for VLAN 10, and one for VLAN 20. In VLAN 10 MAC address table on 0 slash 0 interface, 0 slash on 0 slash 0 interface will have a MAC address. This is for VLAN 10. In VLAN 20 MAC address table will have a MAC address on F0 slash 3 interface, a MAC address. Correct? After that, when PC will generate reply, it will learn B MAC address on this port in VLAN 20. 0 slash 1 MAC address is B. And it will check this database this MAC address table to forward the traffic because they are receiving interface is a part of VLAN 20 and this interface is also part of VLAN 20 so it will find a MAC address destination MAC address on which port on this port so this switch is going to forward it from there or even if it is broadcast then also the receiving interface is a part of VLAN 20 so it will forward from this interface definitely it will forward from this interface because this interface is also member of VLAN 20 and when Again, same switch is going to receive message on this interface. It will make one entry in this table because this time receiving interface is a part of VLAN 10. So on my 0 slash 2 interface, our device is connected whose MAC address is B. It will learn B MAC address on 0 slash 2 interface. Then it will check destination MAC. Destination MAC is A for destination MAC A. Exit interface is 0 slash 0. It will forward from here. Right? So PC1 and PC2 can communicate with each other answer is yes answer is yes see many time interviewer is asking these types of questions just to check your knowledge definitely will in will not use this technique in real time but this way we can make communication possible between two vlans but make sure both should have same subnet both should have ip from the same subnet otherwise let's say here ip address is not this one here ip is 20.1.1.1 so now if i am going to ping 20.1.1.1 what will happen destination belongs to different subnet so gateway is required now gateway is required if gateway is not the pc will drop the traffic right but if both belongs to same subnet then ping can work pc1 and pc2 can communicate with each other answer of this question is yes 
okay so guys this was a small scenario for today hope this is clear to you if uh, still you have some question doubt in this scenario please let me know in the comment section i will make one more video on it no problem until and unless i will not clear your all the doubts i will be making video one by one right so you can see in this playlist in the bottom you will get dot sessions right like dot session for scenario one dot session for scenario two right and this is the eighth session and uh, in future we are going to upload many more scenarios for network engineer interview okay that's all for today if you have learned something from this video if you like this type of scenario based network engineer interview question please hit on like button please share your feedback in the comment section or just type yes in the comment section once you will type yes i will get to know these types of videos are helpful for you and you want more videos like this it will motivate me to make more videos thank you guys thank you so much for watching that's all for today we'll meet soon in the next video